This light makes my eyes look crazy. Hey everyone, today we're going to put together two of my favorite things in the world, which are Dream Theater and Top 10 Lists. So today I'm going to talk about my Top 10 Dream Theater riffs of all time. Now these are my personal favorites. Feel free to disagree with any of the entries, but let me know what some of your favorites are in the comments. Uh, so these are based on both the riffs that are, that are the most fun to play on guitar, but also the ones that just the first time I heard them just made me go, wow. So pretty diverse list here. Let's get started. Number 10 is the main riff for As I Am, the opening track from their album Train of Thought from 2003. Uh, this was the first song that I remember hearing that really made me realize that this band was doing what Metallica did, but just better. Number nine is the main riff for Home from Scenes from a Memory. Uh, this riff is just one of the most brilliant uses of the wah pedal that I know of. And every time I plug in my wah pedal, I just have to play this riff just to warm up. <laughs> Number eight is going to be a little bit controversial because it's from a controversial album, their 2016 release, The Astonishing. Uh, and this is an acoustic riff, too, which makes it one of the most different ones in the list. This is from the song A Life Left Behind, and just the way that the acoustic guitar interacts with the piano and the drums and everything, just all the layers in this song are just so cool. Number seven is the main riff of The Root of All Evil, the opening track from Octavarium, which is probably one of their most ethereal, atmospheric sounding records. But this riff, probably the heaviest riff on that entire album, I think it really makes up for it, for those spacey elements and then tracks like this that just really hit hard. <laughs> Number six is the beginning riff of In the Presence of Enemies from their album Systematic Chaos. This one's really cool to me because that song as a whole is just so dark and so foreboding and evil and heavy. Uh, and this riff, though, it's written in Dorian mode, so it has a little bit of a hopeful element to it, which I think really is in line with that song's lyrical content, which is all about getting delivered from darkness and the, the light at the end of the tunnel. So this is one of the also one of the first riffs that I heard from Dream Theater. So it holds a special place in my heart. Number five is from the same album as the last one was, Systematic Chaos, but this one is the riff for Constant Motion, which is also just one of the most fun riffs to play, I think. It's in a cool time signature, it sounds heavy and thrashy, and uh, this was one of the first, this might have been the first Dream Theater riff that I heard when I was starting guitar and I was like, I have to learn how to play this. And I just played it every day, not very well, because it's really quite difficult, especially for a beginner, but I had so much fun learning this song. <laughs> Number
Number four is the main riff for Yitze Jam, the instrumental from their debut album back in 1989. This riff is just, it's just everything heavy and proggy and cool that the band aspired to be. And this whole album really has a feel like they wrote it in someone's basement, just jamming, because that's how the band started, right? So this this song and this riff just has that that fun collaborative musicianship that I think is just really special about their first album. Number three is the riff from The Glass Prison, the one that has all the wah pedal in it. This one's kind of similar to the riff from Home, where I just love to play this one when I first get my wah pedal plugged in. Now, I think it's the only seven string riff in this entire list, and I've never been a seven string guy. I'm pretty traditional. I don't even like going into drop D very often unless I absolutely have to. So I'm going to play this one in a different key, but it's still really cool. Number two is one of the riffs from The Count of Tuscany, which I think this is one of the riffs that gets the least amount of attention in that song. It's a spectacular song. There's so much going on here. But this one that really, really is fun to play is when he sings Get Into My Car. And that riff is just so cool. It's got the chugginess and it's got the power chords and sliding all over the neck. It's just so much fun to play. And then number one on my list is another often overlooked riff from an often overlooked album. Yes, this one as well is from their debut album, When Dream and Day Unite from 1989. Uh, this one is from The Killing Hand, which is kind of the epic from that album. And it's right after Charlie Dominici sings the lyric, Is it all over? And then the whole band just comes into this, um, this up-tempo, really heavy riff. And it's one of my favorite dream theater moments of all time. <laughs> So that's my top 10 dream theater riffs of all time. Please let me know how much you hate it and what you would change about it, because I'd love to hear what you guys like about it. It was really hard narrowing this down to 10 entries. Like, they have so many albums, let alone so many songs and so many riffs, and there's just so much to love about this band. So this was a very hard list to make, but there it is. Hope you enjoyed it. Please do the whole like, comment, subscribe thing to support the channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys around. Yeah.